Hello guys, so um, here is the first, hopefully of many, um, videos that I'm going to be showing you guys. I thought the first one would be um, appropriate to really kind of explain the design extras a little bit further and kind of show the correlation of, um, you know, who I am as a professor teaching you guys, um, you know, design methods and applications but also the fact that I'm a professional graphic designer working in these applications um, and, and creating projects for clients. So in this particular one, uh, this is a, a project that I have just pretty much done. And um, I went through the various steps that I I'm, I'm had shown you in the past several weeks. So in this first one, I had done the sketch and iteration for this particular project. And here is then the sketch that I had done. Um, it was just pretty much based off of the client giving me kind of the brain dump on what it was that she wanted for her event. And she pretty much told me, you know, uh, just wanted somebody to be holding a bag. So I started with a sketch of a person holding a bag. And um, I do a lot of my sketching and uh, drawing in Clip Studio Paint Pro, if you guys are, are interested in, in wondering what this particular application is. Um, I also illustrate and, and draw. So um, this is what I use. Um, so this is the iteration and the sketch that I had done, um, just kind of getting the feel of how I want it to be. Um, just a really quick way of being able to do it too. Uh, you know, making sure that, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the time <laughs> and keeping things kind of quick and easy. And that's really what iteration and sketching does too. Um, keeping things quick and easy. Uh, and so then what I had done was, um, going back to the design extra here is the generation and, and design area. Um, and again, bringing it back to where we just were, I had then applied a lot of the drawing part. As you can see, I'm going layer by layer so you can see it um, and take away the sketch. And this kind of gave me a little bit more of the design, um, solidifying the design and starting to think of the shapes that are coming out of this organic shape or this complex shape that you're seeing here all together. But I had to start to deconstruct this shape and start to see the simple shapes coming from it so I can then vectorize it. And that's then the final step and the step that you guys are currently learning now in the lab that you're doing and um, you know, seeing how every single little area has its own shape and has its own area of color um, that then I would translate into, and we will get into, again, the design extra, the vectorization part of it or the final step that I had done with this. And that was going into Illustrator and um, really kind of, you know, picking apart each uh, shape that you see. And here, let me get in a little closer so you can see it better. Um, and really kind of getting into every little shape. And you can see here, per se, this was kind of like a square shape, you know, the, the front of the bag and then the rectangle shapes that you see on the sides and then the, you know, um, the certain lines that I had put into each area. And then with a the hand, you know, each hand part had its own simple shape and then I had put it together with colors and lines and all put together into um, what you see here. And it's, this is the vectorization part of, of this whole entire um, logo that I had created for the client. So this is just to give you kind of like a rundown, a quick rundown of the uh, steps that I use and what I had talked about in the design extra to really kind of come up with the brand project that the client then approved and 
is done. <laughs> so um, I hope you kind of got a better idea of, of what it is that I do and, and you will see a lot more types of videos that I will break things down and, and um, uh, hopefully it'll give you a better idea of, of things for your own um, projects and uh, the lectures will make a little more sense to you. <laughs>